I want to share this with you now. But there is something I want to talk about that is pressing me, that have me right here, so. Before me start talk about the poor. There is something pressing me have to talk about before me talk, start talk about the poor. And this is the fact. And this is the fact that these wicked demonic labor rights have this piece of propaganda spreading. Comrades, it is vitally important that we remain educated. It is vitally, it is vitally important that we know our history because this is what the labor right them spreading. They are saying that Edward Siaga announced the making of Portmore in 1966. When I see this, you know, my heart, heart nearly exploding on my chest. They are saying that the PMP laughed after, laughed after Siaga when as the Minister of Housing, he, be, he decided to build Portmore in 1966. Hey, Sandy. Comrades, that is a lie from the pit of hell. That is a lie from the pit of hell. What go on, Twitch? Comrades, that is a lie from the pit of hell. And it is vitally important that we do not allow these labor rights, these dirty demonic labor rights, to rewrite history. Because that is what they're trying to do. They are trying to rewrite history. That's why they don't want Jamaicans to be educated. First and foremost, in 1966, according to the Gleaner, the article, them is more than crosses. Because one of them have the audacity to send the article, you know, like them thinks of me stupid. Say, Edward Siaga founded Portmore. That is what they are trying to say. When the actual article said that Edward Siaga started a $30 million project in South East St. Catherine, that project is called Edgewater. What percentage of Portmore is Edgewater? Comrades, and talk to me. How does starting a community that is now included in Portmore considered co creating the entire Portmore? It goes further, you know. It goes further. Because what they are trying to do is build a case to name, you know, that they want to, to, to start, they want Portmore to become a parish. They are trying to create a case to name it after Siaga, Portmore people, beware. Beware, Portmore people, because these demons are coming for your, your city. And they want to rename it. They want to name it after Eddie Siaga, because they want to tell people that Eddie Siaga started Portmore, which is a lie from the pit of hell. See, Portmore was created by Michael Manley and the Matalan brothers, Joseph and Maya Matalan. And anybody who know history know that Portmore, Greater Portmore, the entire Portmore was constructed by Michael Manley and the Matalan brothers, Joseph and Maya Matalan. Edward Siaga commissioned the building of Edgewater. When since Edgewater became the Ola Portmore? We need to mash down these lies. Because if you follow these people, they rewrite every history in the book. And have the audacity to build a story around it too. They're trying to build an entire story around it. To give credence and credit to the despots called Edward Siaga, the CIA operative called Edward Siaga, 
who wasn't born here and did everything to sell out Jamaica because he couldn't run Jamaica? Who introduced gun running to Jamaica according to the CIA declassified documents? This is the despot they are trying to basically give account, basically turn up, name the entire Jamaica after this criminal. If you follow labor right, them turn Jamaica into Siaga land. Let me tell you this, my chest plate about me now, comrades. My chest plate about me. Because I never see nothing so yet. Ten thousand thank you, Zenny. Ten thousand houses in Portmore, built by Manly with the Matalan brothers. We can West Indies home contractors owned by the Matalan brothers. Also built Mona. Also built Harbor View. Siaga in 1966 commissioned the building of Edgewater. And that was the sum total of Edward Siaga's contribution to Portmore. At the time, Edgewater wasn't even considered to be part of Portmore. As the city of Portmore expanded and more areas became called Portmore, Edgewater was eventually called Port part of Portmore. Right up Edgewater named called Portmore. Portmore was Portmore and Edgewater was Edgewater. Do not allow these people to rewrite the history. Them wicked, them wicked, them wicked, them wicked, them wicked. But God don't like ugly comrades. And that is why JLP must get a beating, comrades. That is why, finally, we are seeing now where we are ahead in the polls.